Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at animating a camera and then rendering an animation. So what I have here is an obstacle course uh, that uh, has a sphere that plays through. So let me just press play and show you what I mean. Okay, so since this animation is so spacious, we want to animate a camera following the active object. So let me pause this, I will rewind. And to render, what we need to do is basically become the camera. Because right now, uh, if I zoom out, you can see my camera's over here, but really I want the camera to be right here where I'm looking. And to do that, uh, what we're gonna do is move my camera to where I'm looking. And to do that, we press Control, Alt, and Zero on the number pad. And what that does is it moves the camera to where I was looking, uh, where my view was. So now that the camera is there, just hold tight, we need to become the camera now because I am still not the camera. If I orbit out, you can see I've just come out of the camera. So I need to become the camera so that I could be begin keyframing it. So uh, to become the camera, first thing, if you did orbit away from it, you could press the camera right over here to get back into it. Now to become the camera we're going to press the letter N and when you press the letter N on your keyboard this will jet out and I'm looking for the word view, the view tab. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the box called camera to view. I'll show you it says camera to view right here. Now what has changed? Well around this box where it was the camera's um, uh, area you can see there is now and it's very thin you might not see it but there's a very thin red line what that's telling us is that I am the camera and I'm looking through it so if I pan orbit or zoom I'm moving with the camera now because I've checked this box so I could uh, zoom in a little bit more if I wanted to maybe just get a little closer to the action here okay so this is where I want to start my animation. I'm going to be sure that my time slider is at 1 or 0, and my camera is all set. I am going to press the letter I, and because I'm moving this camera, I'm going to go to Location. So I is going to set a keyframe for Location. I on your keyboard. Notice this little yellow keyframe has appeared at 0. So what's that, what that's saying is this keyframe is telling this camera to start the animation here. So now I'm going to press play and I'm looking to space out my keyframes fairly evenly. And I think I'm going to play about 80 to 100 frames here. So I'm going to press play and I'm going to pause when I get close to 80. I'll pause it, 84, that's just fine. I'm going to hold shift and hold down my middle mouse to pan and I'm going to follow the sphere moving through the obstacle course and then press I and location and there's another keyframe and that keyframe is telling the camera to be here I'm going to press play again maybe another 80 frames okay and I'm going to pan and follow the action again and I'm going to press I, location. The reason I space these out evenly is I'm getting the same amount of movement per keyframe. See, the purpose of the camera is not to have your audience know it's even there. So they should be seeing the animation and not seeing the camera movement. Right? They shouldn't notice the camera moving. That's how you know that you've done a good job keyframing your camera. So keyframe them evenly and even movements, even amount of movements between each. Okay, so I'm going to press play again. I'm getting towards the end here. 60, but 120. Pause that, and I'm just going to follow that. Okay, good. Oh, oh i got to press I, location, and I'm going to press play again. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to follow the action. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of, maybe I'll zoom in a touch. Okay. If 
by the way, to zoom in smoothly, you can hold down control and hold down your middle mouse button. I'm going to press I, location, and let's see, bring it to the end here. Maybe I'll just, have, oh, I think it might go in there, so let's, let's find out. <laughs> we'll find out soon. So I'm going to come over here. Zoom in a touch and press I, location. All right, so my animation ends at 350. I'm going to rewind and let's just take a look at what we did. And you can see how the camera is following the action. Okay. Excellent. If you feel like you have lost, you can see in between here, I lose sight of the sphere. So you could fix that. I like to, if that, if that happens, I'm looking at the two keyframes here from here to here. I can go in between the two and I could kind of move my camera back to where the, the wall is visible and press I, location. So now I've added a keyframe in between these two. And let's take a look at that, see if that helps. And it does. Okay, excellent. So again, just a reminder, 350 we end. So this is finished. Now let's talk about rendering out as an animation. So to do that, we're going to come over to first the back of the camera I would make sure that uh, unless you have a really powerful computer I'm gonna be on EV I'm not gonna be running through cycles um, I'm going to go to the output here now this is where I can change my resolution uh, 1920 by 1080 is the default but over here we can choose some other options we're at 24 frames per second that's okay for now you can switch to 30 um, here frame start and end so we start at one we end at 350 we said okay I'm gonna change that this is where you're gonna save your animation so please be sure to click on this right now it is going to a temporary temp folder that you uh, I never seem to find a way to get access to it so to always change this and uh, put it to your uh, make a folder on your desktop and put that in uh, then here we want to change PNG to FFmpeg video, which will be, um, you'll see the H.264 codec, so that's really good. So just change PNG to the FFmpeg video, and we are all set. Uh, that should be fine for now. To render, I always save before I render, and then go up to render and render animation. And the animation will render 350 frames all the way through and through your camera's eye. Okay, well, good luck and give that a try.